Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is on using some very simple level and curve adjustments to make fake infinity walls when you're using hero shots. So today I've got this little shot up here of Archie the Arcade, and he's just kind of sitting in infinite white space. Um, I've turned it teal, but generally speaking, it's just kind of flat, boring. You don't really have the depth that he's like in a studio. Um, and a quick way to adjust this is to throw some level adjustments over top of a flat color. So what I've done is I've thrown a couple different background colors in here. We've got purple, blue, and orange, or teal and orange. Um, and when I throw a level adjustment on it, I can very easily um, punch up the background. So I'm just going to do, we'll start with a new one so you can see what's going on here. So I will do a new level adjustment and just pull in the white point so that it starts to get brighter. And then once I've done that, it gives me a blank layer mask. So if I just switch to my gradient tool, switch to radial, white and black, I can just kind of draw out a nice radial gradient like this from the corner. And that helps give it some light, like maybe there was a, a window in the studio over there or anything like that. Um, and usually, too, you can do things like curves and just sort of blow out the middle point there, which will give you a brighter version of your um, background color. And then same thing, maybe just draw out a little bit of a halo behind your character so it looks like they had the good three-point lighting right behind them. Um, and then a cool thing that you can do to kind of reinforce the studio atmosphere is throw a layer mask on a group that's holding all of your adjustments. So this little folder here is holding all of these adjustments. And then draw a selection down to where the ground would be. So the horizon line on this particular render is to right there. I'm going to make it a layer mask on this group. So the hard cutoff definitely looks wrong. But if you just pop into the properties of your layer mask here, you can start to feather it. And when you smooth it out and really let it sort of blend into the background, you get this effect of like a ground floor that slowly curves up and gives you that nice infinity wall uh, lighting that generally you see with like a hero product, like say a shoe or a sandwich or, you know, an arcade box, whatever it may be. Um, and then once you've got those general lighting adjustments set up, you can just sort of quickly drop in other colors, see what you like, see what you don't like, you know, go into a hue and adjust, hue and saturation adjustment, just kind of poke around with the colors. Um, but it gives you a really quick way to just sort of add some drama to your background so that they're not purely flat and it replicates that sort of studio effect that you see quite quickly and quite easily. So that's the tip. If you found it helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you have questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.